Here is how to upload a video to IGTV, which is Instagram's long form video platform and have auto generated captions show up when people watch the video on their phone, which is how most people watch IGTV videos. So the thing you can't do that I discovered is to upload the video from the phone app. You have to upload the video on your computer. So let me show you. You go on your computer to your own Instagram profile. So Instagram.com slash GeoCal is my own profile. So you go to your own profile. And then once your profile loads, I don't know why it's taking so long. It usually goes faster than this. But once the profile loads, you go scroll down and click on IGTV. Okay. And here in IGTV, there's an upload button, blue upload button. You might, some people might say, well, George, can't you do this on, on Creator Studio on Instagram? No, Creator Studio on Instagram, I tried uploading IGTV and it doesn't generate captions. There's no option. So you have to come this way. Your profile, click IGTV, click upload. And here you can now drag and drop the video file and check, these, check this box for auto-generated captions and it will show up as auto-generated um, for people watching the video on their phone. Now, another cool trick, I also, I also check this box because I want the preview to show up on my Instagram grid, uh, profile grid. So, and of course you fill in these, these things as well. But um, the cool, another cool trick is that you don't have to edit the video to make it work. So I just record, most of my videos are recorded using Zoom and I can simply drag and drop the Zoom video file here and it will work. Let me in fact show you. How that how that's done or what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and show you my uh, phone app, my phone screen, and uh, say hi to my dog buddy there. And then let me go to my Instagram, and let me go ahead and show you uh, my latest video was uploaded the way that I just showed you. This is a Zoom video. I recorded this video on Zoom. I simply drag and dropped it just like I showed you earlier to that upload, and look there are auto generated captions because I checked that box. So isn't that convenient? And then I can also show you um, a video that's uh, portrait mode that I uploaded from my computer. I recorded this video on my phone and then I uploaded it. I put the phone video file to my computer and I uploaded the video to IGTV from the computer like I showed you earlier in this tutorial. And there is also uh, auto generated captions. So that's how you upload IGTV videos and have auto-generated captions. If you have any questions, let me know below. If you aren't seeing IGTV when you go to your Instagram profile and you don't see, some people say, well, I don't, George, I don't see Reels or IGTV. Unfortunately, you do need to first upload, and let's just say IGTV, because that's what we're talking about, because Reels, you can't upload from reels on, on computer, unfortunately. Um, not, not in this simple way. There's sort of an advanced, more technical way of doing it, but let's just talk about IGTV right now. If you don't have this tab, it means you need to first upload a video to IGTV from your phone or using Creator Studio. You know, if you, if you use Creator Studio, you can upload to IGTV from here. The problem with Creator Studio is that they're very picky about the video uh, size, not size, um, resolution or dimensions rather. They're very picky about video dimensions when you're uploading using Creator Studio. You have to, it has to be the perfect portrait mode type dimension. I think it's uh, nine by 16. Um, but whereas if you upload it from here on the computer, they're very forgiving. You can just drag and drop a Zoom video and it'll, you know, landscape video and it'll work just fine. So, the, the next step, if you don't have the IGTV tab, is to upload an IGTV from your phone or from Creator Studio. And unfortunately, that one will not have auto-generated captions, but you just have to kind of sacrifice one video that way. And then going forward, you will be able to use this format to upload videos because this will now show up as long as you have at least one. So for example, I have only one reel ever. That's why my reels thing does show up here. So I hope that helps and any other questions, let me know. And for those who are saying, okay, George, just give me a real quick tip on how to upload my first IGTV video. I have some videos on my phone. I wanna upload them. Here's how you do it. I'm gonna go ahead and share my phone screen again. 
Um, so go to your Instagram app, okay? And then, uh, sorry, your Instagram app, you typically end up on the home screen first, just like this. You click on the plus button on the top right. Now, uh, if I'm on an Android phone, so iPhones might have a different plus button somewhere, but it's basically, there should be a plus button somewhere, but mine is at the top. As you can see, I click on the plus button and then I scroll until I find, no, until I find, oh no, post is correct. Post is correct. I select a long, IGTV means that it has to be a video that's longer than one minute. That's the definition of IGTV. It's longer than one minute. So I had to find a video that's longer than one minute, which I don't know if I can. There it is. Okay, so I already uploaded this before, but anyway, uh, and I can click this little, um, you see that button on the bottom left of my shirt. I can click that expand button to see a bit more. Okay, anyway, like that. And then I click next, which is the arrow on the top right, arrow on the, the blue arrow on the top right, I click next. And then it gives me the option. Do you wanna share a short video, which is only up to one minute? Or do you wanna share a long video, which is IGTV? So that's what I do. The long video is what creates the IGTV video. So I click continue. And then, uh, and now I get to pick, you know, a thumbnail where, what, what thumbnail do I want it to look like? I click next, or I can add from gallery at the bottom. There's a button. If I've already created a, a nice looking thumbnail image, that's portrait mode. I could choose that. I don't have it here. So I'll click next. And then I could do the title and description as you see up there. Uh, I could type in the title and I could type in the description, which can include a link. IGTV is the only place on this, unless you have more than 10,000 followers on Instagram, you can't do links in your stories. Um, but, uh, but any of us who don't have 10,000 followers can, can put a link here, um, you know, www.whatever should, should work, um, should work. But if you, if you want to double check, you want to make sure you probably should do something HTTPS colon slash slash, that'll definitely work to, to put whatever link you want. Um, and that, that'll be clickable with people click on the description field and uh, you can click on post to IGTV from there. So I hope this helps. All right, I'm so glad Julie is here to show us that she is seeing a different interface on her computer. Do you see that it says videos in the center instead of IGTV? And so we were both confused. So apparently for some of you who are watching this, you click videos instead. And here you can upload videos uh, using the blue button. And Julia, go ahead and click on upload. And I, let's just double check that there is an auto January caption checkbox. Yeah, there is for you right there. Yeah. What, what confuses me though, is that there is no checkbox that says post preview, but my, my guess is that it automatically does that. I don't know, maybe you're using a different version of Instagram. They're always testing different versions right. of things. And there uh, okay, there's a 16 minute video and it doesn't tell us that there's a post, you could it probably will automatically do it, is my guess. I don't know why also it doesn't give you a chance to, to, to upload, to post a title either. You know what? Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a guess. I think we have different Instagram types of accounts. I have what's called a professional account and that might be the difference that um, uh, if you click settings, um, you know, I, I don't want to go into all that here, but but there is a way to change the type of account, professional account. Uh, yeah, you are a professional account. Isn't it? Anyway, I don't know. I don't know this. <laughs> yeah, you have a professional account. So for some reason, yours looks differently than mine. But now we know. Now we know we can still upload from the desktop, and that's the main. That's the main point. Thanks, Julia. <laughs>